I've heard it been said that it's a big campus, but a small campus feel. And so what that really meant to me is that there's a lot of activities and a lot of things for you to do, but when it comes to your classes, it's very small, intimate classes. You get to know your professors really well. So it's got a lot of options, but it still feels like a small campus. And so that's what I really liked about Western. I never would have thought that I'd be working for a trucking company <laughs> or have a major that I feel so passionate about um, and something that just really clicks and makes sense to me. I think the difference between Sarah now and Sarah four years ago is confidence. And I think a lot of that comes from experience. When I look at Western versus other schools, one of the biggest differences I notice is just the fact that because we're in a smaller community, it is more close-knit, I feel like everyone here is very excited and care about your success. Um, the biggest difference, I think, between Western and a lot of other places is how one-on-one -on -one it is, with, especially with faculty. The faculty here genuinely care about their students. Um, by being at Western, especially with the size, I'm able to walk down the halls of Stipes and professors know my name, they say hi Rachel, and just talking to some of my other friends from high school who go to much larger universities, they don't have that. The biggest takeaway I think from studying abroad is broadening your mind and seeing beyond what you normally would if you were to stay in one place for four years. And since I'm from Macomb, I thought I need to go somewhere else to broaden my mind. And that's why China was so exciting because it was a new place, completely different you know, ideas and customs. And that's intimidating for a lot of people, but for me, it was exciting. One of the trade shows I went to was Modex in Atlanta, Georgia. There were about 850 different companies there. We were there for a whole entire week where we were able to just walk on the trade show and see the different supply chain and material handling um, techniques and new ways of doing things. Some of the other schools that were there were the University of Tennessee, Michigan State, um, where else, University of Washington, or even some schools from overseas like in England. Um, but we were the only student group to be there for the whole entire week. My internship was at um, Bosch Automotive Aftermarket in Broadview, Illinois. It was the, it's their headquarters, and I was doing inventory management for their rotating machines division. To see my the course material in action in the real world, I also learned what it's like to be in a company. And that's very different than being in college. <laughs> they taught me a lot about just corporate culture, um, how to act in meetings, how to put on meetings, what's expected of you. All, all those things make me feel very prepared for an actual career where I'm doing all of this by myself. Um, I did a co-op, so for six months I was working for Prime Inc. in Springfield, Missouri, a trucking company. I was working on loads out of the Midwest region of the United States. So I was planning um, either pick up and delivery appointments for um, a lot of meat loads and pharmaceutical loads. So I was really, I mean, every single thing that I've learned in my transportation class, uh, I was able to relate it to my internship. Um, advice that I would give to prospective students would be to um, get involved uh, get to know your professors, get to know your classmates, get to know your floor mates, your RA, because they're all there to help you. They want to see you succeed. Um, they want to be able to make Western your home. <laughs>Uh, since I'm getting ready to graduate, probably the biggest thing I'm going to miss most is just being able to see my friends and my professors on a daily basis. I know right now if I have a question about anything, whether it's about life or my career or actual classes, I can just walk upstairs in my academic buildings and my professors are always there to talk to, or I can walk down the hall in my dorm and see my friends. The thing I'm going to miss most about WIU is definitely seeing my teachers all the time and They've just become such a big part of my life and they've, some of them have almost become like my friends. And they've really helped me grow and 
just become the person that I am today. Um, what I'm going to miss most about Western would be everything. <laughs> my friends, my professors. I never thought I would miss school, but I know I'm going to. Really reminds me that the friends that I've made, they're really lifelong friends. I mean, even now, I still keep in contact with my friends who have graduated, so the relationships I've built. <laughs>